you're still going to be friends at the end of the day, but this is a real life that you're messing with. Even though it is a game, this is somebody that flew to London to compete in this game, put their life on pause um, to have this experience and you took it away from them. So I do have a little bit of regret with that. I guess the, the first question I have is for both of you, which is you, for this show, you had to go through this, this crazy audition process, uh, get thrown into this thing where like stuff's getting thrown at you all the time. There's all these personalities. There's also the TV side where you're getting interviewed, wardrobe, all the things, and then it's over and you can't talk to anyone about it. How was it to transition back to real life after? It was an experience for me. Um, I didn't even tell any of my family or friends I was coming home because I was just like so overstimulated from this experience. And they took our phone away in the experience. And that was one thing that really surprised me about the experience is that I really enjoyed not having my cell phone 24 seven. It gave me a chance to like get to know people on a real level um, and listen to them active listening. Um, So when I did get out of the game and they did return our phone, I tried to like not look at it as much as possible. And then when I did return home, I I stayed offline for probably two weeks. I think for me, uh, the biggest thing coming away from the show was because of some of the conversations I had with other contestants there, I was able to realize that I was in a toxic relationship. And so I was no longer able to ignore that fact. And I tried to see if that could um, make the relationship healthy again. But ultimately, I had to move on. And along with that, like I just had recovered from cancer a few years prior and been focused on like adding good things into my life. And so I'd realized that I'd become complacent and this show provided another opportunity for me to focus again on investing in myself. And so I have since then begun producing a play that I wrote years ago, as well as working on publishing a book. So a lot of good things. In terms of like gameplay, uh, Danny, you got the first test in the show, chose to eliminate someone. I think there's an interview with you where you're talking about, you know, you're saying it's kind of karma that it then came back to you. How do you feel now about the choice that you made? See, I think if I did that experience again, I probably would have made the same decision um, because I'm just a huge, I'm a huge game nerd. So I love being cut through in games when we play game night. And then I love these reality TV shows with the competition shows and things like that. So I think I probably would have made the same decision, but I always will have regret for the decision I made um, because the difference is when you're playing game night, your friends, like you're still going to be friends at the end of the day, but this is a real life that you're messing with. Even though it is a game, this is somebody that flew to London to compete in this game, put their life on pause um, to have this experience and you took it away from them. So I do have a little bit of regret with that. And Spencer, there's this moment in the show where the ink pack on the person next to you goes off when you're doing the umbrella, like cutting it out and your face, like I, what is the feeling of, of seeing like the person next to you just get eliminated when it's also something that you were kind of forced into to choosing in the first place. I like to think that like any difficulty for myself is something I can handle, but something where that weight is on someone else's shoulders. Um, it just becomes so much bigger. <laughs> if that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I think that is all the time I have for you guys, but I really appreciate it. I was rooting for you and watching it. I hope it was overall a good experience. You're both great. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> have a good one.